the peeps and welcome to Car Mechanic Simulator 2014 with me, Stocker Gloss. Let's begin, begin continuing our career. <laughs> uh, I think we're, uh, we're, we're doing another 4x4 add-on. We'll, uh, we'll check this out. I can't wait for the turbo one to come out. That should be fun. Warmth. <laughs> I've never driven a turbo car. Well, a diesel turbo, but uh, that don't count. Right, here we go. So what's our... Uh, what we got to do? Replace damaged parts of the clutch. Okay, the clutch is slowing. I've probably burnt it out while I was trying to pull my friend's car out of the mud. Please replace the clutch. It'll take seconds for you. Yes, it will. Okay, let's raise this baby up. There we go. Because I believe the clutch is near the gearbox. Underneath. Um, I think. Yes, the clutch is behind there. So how do we take this? Can we... Uh, Oh, showed. Yeah, somebody mentioned about showing. This is quite good too. When you start looking at stuff, it can it shows a uh, condition of all the parts and what needs to be uh, changed and all that. Okay, to take this off. Then it looks like I'm gonna have to take this dry shaft off. Um, how do I take that dry shaft off? I have to go up here. And in order to take that off. I need to take all the wheels off. Oh, great. Not seconds. Let's, uh... All right, let's take all this off. I think I've got to take all this off. Oh, gosh. I don't know if I like that view. Um, so take that off. Do I need to take all this off as well? I probably do. But we'll take that off anyway. We'll take all the wheels off. I hope I do need to take these off. Otherwise it's going to be a big waste of time. <laughs> With me! So I forgot. <laughs> Oh, I've been watching my uh, The Deadliest Catch season ten. This uh, I don't know. I just I just love it. Just love that series. It's uh, making me want to play uh, Deadliest Catch again. Uh, I'd probably get requested for Deadliest Catch oh, twenty times a week, easy. So uh, you may see that series coming back. I'm gonna have to knock a series on on the head, and I think um, either this or Banished is gonna go until. Uh, maybe updates or something changes within the game so uh, yeah you may see uh, Deadliest Catch come back I've uh, the last episode I think Monty made a bit of a mistake he started fishing somewhere where he shouldn't have on the wizard uh, so I, I feel quite sorry for him and it was only out by like next to nothing but you know they went nuts and uh, said he had to uh, he had to throw all his uh, crab back which is definitely not fair right, how do I take that off ok I'm going to take this off and take that off probably don't need to take the front uh, off but uh, might as well now we've uh, undone all the wheels there we go and we can take that off Take all this off. Oh gosh, this is a big job, isn't it? Changing a changing a clutch and it, well, not the gearbox, but changing the clutch is uh, is a right pain. It's taken a lot longer than two seconds. <laughs> okay, let's take this off, and then we take that off. Turn around and we'll have a look at this beast. Okay, we need to go. Um, is it you to have a look at that? How do I take this off then? 
Um, surely I don't lower it and then take it out. I thought I, I need to take the gearbox out from underneath, but maybe not. A boat horn. Oh no. Okay. Why can't I take you off? Oh, okay. I got. What's that? The starter. Okay. Let's take you out. Oh yeah, we've got all these screws, haven't we? Depending on how much money we got, I might upgrade my uh, my skills in a minute. Um, this is the the clutch plate. So can we examine that? Uh, examine the bearing. Oh, the clutch plate and the bearing seems okay. Let's take no. Let's take these off. Let's take the bearing out. Pop. Take the clutch plate off. There's some highly technical stuff going on now. We can talk about clutch plates and bearings and. Oh, oh, there we go. No, 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 no. Let's take you off. Uh, no, can we show? Yeah, okay, she can't do anything with that. But we need to, basically, we need to, uh, can we repair it? No, do you know what? Everything's fine. So we can't repair it. I, I forgot what it was called. Let's have a look at our inventory quickly. Uh, so plate. Do, do, do. Um, there we go. Clutch friction plate. Clutch friction plate. You can also see how much money we got as well, eh? Uh, oh, 9,539. That's, uh, that's not bad. So a clutch friction plate. There we go. Right, let's put this bobby back in. Um, yes, hundred percent. Pressure plate. This is gonna be good as new. Put the bearing back in. Put the gearbox. There we go. Um, oh yes, the uh, the starter. I think that's all we can do from this angle. We need to raise it up. Do the bit from underneath. Put that thing back on. Put that thing back on. There we go. I'm sorry if you can hear outside. Somebody's decided to uh, to mow the lawn. You know, just uh, just as you're starting recording, you got your next door neighbour deciding to, uh, to get his lawn mower right. It's like, oh, thank you very much. Really appreciate it. And it's uh, it's quite warm. Uh, I know, I know you're shocked. Uh, we're in the UK, and I'm saying it's quite warm, but it is. It's uh, it's fairly warm outside, so I've got the windows open. Hence the reason why I can hear the guy going up and down the uh, his front garden with his lawnmower. I presume it's a guy. I haven't really opened the open the uh, curtains to check. Um, he might even be able to hear me. <laughs> Oops. Yeah, he's a great guy. I love my neighbours. <laughs> uh, okay, that's done, that's done, that's done. Let's lower it and put the wheels back on. And we should be done. I think these uh, these jobs on the 4x4 uh, add-on are definitely uh, take a lot longer. They're a lot more uh, intricate than... I think the actual standalone game, and I don't—I can't remember if I bought the 4x4. I don't think I did. I think it was a free download, a free DLC. I'm not sure. Right, let's put the 
break this back on with the pads. So all you budding car mechanics out there. When you go for your interview, you know. So uh, what did you get? What did you learn your uh, your car mechanic um, qualification from? You could say, "Well, I watched uh, I watched Locker Gloss, uh, you know, his uh, twenty odd videos of um, fixing cars." That's probably the highest qualification you guys can have in uh, in car mechanicry. <laughs> I just made that word up. Uh, you, you're free to use it. So what they do is they basically double your salary and uh, you'll be the most renowned car mechanic in the world. No, I'm only joking. That would be pretty cool though. I suppose it's like anything, you know, if you worked in a fish and chip shop you'd get fed up of eating fish and chips, wouldn't you? You wouldn't want to eat it. So working in a, you know, working as a car, me car mechanic, this is probably the last thing you'd want to do is uh, is get home and go, oh, I can't wait to play car mechanic simulator, you know, I've just been doing it all day at work. Alright, let's see if we've finished. Yes, we have. Repaired. Proceed to the next order. Awesome. That didn't take very long. Well, it did, actually. It took uh, quite a while. Let's see what uh, lovely surprises these, these peeps have... Uh... Okay. Prefer, perform chip tuning. Minimum plus 20%. Okay, I want to start racing in off-road events, but my engine lacks power to go uphill. Can you add some horses under the hood? Yeah. That's my kind of... Uh... Alright. Chip tuning uh, path test roller dynamo tune the car that's the one we want uh, we've done this before didn't we it's that little like mini game um, let's program the EEPROM incorrect ratio it's all about I don't know, you just got to play with this until it all levels out. Um, if he wants 20%, that's going to be quite difficult because... Whoa. Yeah, that looks pretty good. Proper ratio. He's getting 40%. Oh, have I got it? Have I got to get twenty percent, or is forty percent okay? <laughs> oh, let's just try that. I guess it's twenty percent, forty percent better. I should have checked this before, really, shouldn't I? Yeah, plus forty percent, brilliant. He's gonna ask me to do twenty percent, isn't he? I just got 40% more power out of his car. Come on. That's pretty cool. Repaired. Yeah. <laughs> he is well happy. Oh, minimum plus 20%. That's okay. We got 40%. I think he's well happy. It's like buy one, get one free. <laughs> okay. Fix the suspension, replace all filters, and replace it all. There are loud, no loud noises coming from my suspension. Please check what's going on. And by the way, please check the oil filters. No problem. We've got just the uh, room to do this in. We can check all the suspension in here. And we go also check the filter. You know, replace all the filters and the oil. That's no problem. So move the front wheels onto the brake tester. There we go. And then we uh, we brake. Just checking the brakes. The brakes seem okay. Yep, brakes are fine. I think this is the bit where we're going to see some some problems on the suspension thing. Okay, left or oh, right? Right suspension is pretty. Uh, oh, move back wheels onto suspension. Uh, so the right. Front right is bad. Um, and the back left, it had to be the next. So front right, back left. 
It should show up red on our uh, on our thingy to see what's bad. So we should be able to see. Oh, sorry, the pop filter was actually resting on the mic head. Then I don't know uh, if that makes much difference or not. So yeah, the front right and the back left. So let's raise it up and have a, have a quick look. Uh, oh, that's definitely uh, that's definitely mullered. You can see it's. Uh, if I click on that, there we go. So we can see all the red parts that needs replacing. Um, I think it's practically all the suspension, isn't it? What's on the other side? Oh, it's got some red over there. Some red. Okay. Okay. Well, let's get to work. Um, Take this wheel off. Doo -doo 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 -doo. You never get people come in anymore and say, uh, can you just change the brake pads? That's fine. No, it has to be you know the suspension and oh right, we need a new outer tie rod. We need a new inner tie rod. Uh, we need to take all that off as well. So inner outer tie rod. One of these things. I think that's a front suspension. Uh, didn't need to take that off, but I did. Um, Well, let's do that bit first. Uh, no, no, no. We'll uh, we do it after, actually. Let's just take as much stuff as we can. <laughs> take as many bits off this car as we can, and then we'll worry about putting it all back together after. That's the stuck across way. I don't like thinking about it. Just take it all apart, and then we'll worry about it afterwards. I'm sure there's a YouTube video somewhere to help me if I get uh, if I get stuck. <laughs> um, now I took all this off because we need to take off the sway bar link end and this thing uh, that's it for that side let's take this off oh, I can see that rubber bush is looking uh, pretty mean it's looking a bit red a bit angry Brakes are looking good though. Um, okay, do I need to lift them up to do all that? I think I do. We need to take all that off. Um, okay, let's raise it up. Just need to take that thing off there. So get that bush out. Take this off. And then I have to take this one off. The spring, the strut looks okay. Don't need to worry about that. Um, so we can take this one off. And the rubber bush. What's the push lock on the other one? Yeah, the bush needs to change on that one as well. Alright, let's do this first. Oh gosh, I've got to remember what, what we need to buy now. Um, let's just check my inventory. Outer tie rod, inner tie rod, shock absorber, B, front, left. Right. Okay. Um, I've forgotten already what I need. Inner tie rod, I need one of them. We need an outer tie rod. Yeah, we need one of them. And we need a shock absorber B front. Ah, oh, it's doing so well. I can't remember. Front left. All right. We need you. We need you. 
you, you. So I'll get inventory. Uh, I, need, I think we need three rubber bushings. So let's get three of those rubber bushings. Uh, R. Uh, there we go. One, two, three. What else do we need? Um, do, do, do. Oh, a sway bar link. Uh, let's put this stuff on first. Oh, I need that thing. Okay. Oh, what's it called? It's called. Um, there it is. Uh, suspension arm rear left A. 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 There we go. Okay, let's go fit that then. We'll put this. Oh, we need a suspension spring. Let's put that on there first. A suspension spring. Spring rear. There we go. I'm sorry, there's a lot of backwards and forwards, but I've got a memory like a sif. So let's put that on, and then I can put that on. Okay, you're okay. Um, this strut. Okay, shock is over rear. I need to get one of them. Shock is over rear. I think that's done as well. All right. Now this front, you just put a suspension arm front right. Suspension arm front right. Let's go get one of them. Front right. Oh, I've got the bushings in the back. I need to put those bushings in. That's what got me last time. Remember last time I was spending ages trying to work out. Hang on, I've, I've done everything. So I need to put the bushings in. And apparently somebody mentioned that the bushing is is, is, is a fairly important part of the uh, suspension. So there's me saying, no, oh, it's only a bush. You don't really need a bush. No, apparently you do. <laughs> apparently it's a big thing. <laughs> but what do I know? Put the bush in. There we go. So that's all looking good. So we can lower this now. We can put the back tires on the. Uh... Oh, we didn't do that one. I think we undone that one. Yeah, we can put this one back at least. Uh, well, well, before I do that, it said change all filters, didn't it? So I need, might need to change the fuel filter. Um. Well, I don't think you need to take the tires off to change the fuel filter. We'll come to that. There we go. Brilliant. Um. All right. What do we need to change? Okay, we've got the inner tie rod, we've got the outer tie rod here. Uh, we also need... What else on this side? Oh, a spring. Oh, a shop it was over A front right. Shop it was over A front right. Shop it was over A front right. That's not bad money really is it, shock absorber, a whole shock absorber for 150 bucks. There we go. Oh, oh we've got this thing as well to put on. Uh, 
Right, that side's done. So we can put the wheel back on. Uh, hopefully we're done with this side. I think we are. Come on, where's that? Uh, where's that brake pad? Come here. Stop hiding you. There we go. Lovely. Right, just sort this other side out, and then we just got to do the filters. So what do we need from this side? We need oh shock is over A front left. Let's go get one of them. Shock it is over A front left. Shock it is over A front left is one of them. I think we also need um on the left, yeah. I think we need one of them as well from memory. So let's put that on first. I hope they're paying us big for this. Yeah, I thought so. My memory ain't that bad. Uh, I think everything else is done. Yeah, that looks okay. Let's put this back on. Um, put the other one back on. That second brake pad is always uh, trying to hide. Now you just need to change the filter. So you got a fuel filter, air filter, and an oil filter. I think that's the only filters that we need to change. So we can do the air filter and the oil filter here. Have you got to change your oil as well? Uh, so replace all filters or replace the oil. Yes. So let's replace the filters first. So we take that cap off. And we take the oil filter off. Uh, we've got to take all this off as well. There we go. And take off the box. I'm definitely seeing more green than red in this car, so that's not that's not a bad thing. And I think we need to lift it up to do the fuel filter. Oh, that's the fuel pump. Oh, whoops. Uh, where's the fuel filter then? There it is. Okay, let's put that pump back in. <laughs> I was just seeing if it's okay, that's all. You know, I'm a, I'm, I'm a mechanic that uh, uh, takes pride in his work and likes to do a good job. So if I'm looking at the fuel filter, I want to make sure the fuel pump's okay. Uh, that's the water pump. What are we looking at? Fuel filter. Um, do we need the oil filter cap? No, we don't. 100 bucks for that. Wow. Okay. Uh, fuel filter. Thank you. Uh, LMNO. Oil filter. There we go. And an air filter should be near the top. There we go. Perfect. Now the only thing I haven't done is is maneuver this oil can thing in the right position to stop getting fined for an oil leakage or whatever. So uh, that, that should be fun. All right, let's lower this. Come the long way around. money they're paying us for this because uh, this is a fairly big job isn't it you know sort out all the suspension change all the filters come on there we go go on there we go all right now this is the bit I don't get uh, I think we need to raise it up and then we need to move this thing 
into position. Uh, where's the sump? There's the sump. Okay. I think that's right. <laughs> I hope it's right. I'm not going to take that off. Um. Surely I'm going to take the exhaust off to change the oil. That's just stupid. I don't change the oil. Have I really got to take that off? No way. What's gonna happen if I lower this now? Is it gonna squash something? Oil container is too close. Okay. I thought that's how you drain the oil. No way! I'm not gonna take the whole exhaust off. That's, that's just nuts. Let me work out what to do here and I'll be straight back. Okay, I'm a bit of a donut. I've taken off the whole exhaust thinking, I still can't take this off. I still can't. This thing's just, oh, it's a bug. I was uh, crying about it. But you can't see it, but there is the drain plug. And hopefully that's going in our, yeah, look at that. That was a good catch. Okay, so let's put that back, that drain plug back. I've got to replace all the. Uh, did I need to take the. No, I didn't think I needed to take the exhaust off. That would have been daft. Let's just put that back on. There we go. Did I take that back out? Assembling. Yeah, that's there. Okay. Right, so we just need to move this thing out of the way. Go lower this and reassemble the uh, the exhaust. Can't believe I've done that. Uh, okay. And this thing had like 600 million screws. I might be exaggerating when I say 600 million. It wasn't quite that many, but uh, there was a fair number of screws, as you can see. we're here we must have top up this uh with nice clean oil glug 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 10 watt 30 super motor oil there we go that's full let's check the dipstick yeah golden color beautiful now we just need to put the exhaust back on <laughs> and then we're done I'm probably the only mechanic in the world that takes the exhaust off just to uh, fill it up with oil uh, there we go. I want to turn around come on okay it's not letting me do it Okay. I 
can't really uh, tick all this off to be honest. <laughs> oh gosh, I was doing so well up until then, wasn't I? on the back. Okay, let's lower this and then we're done. Well, fingers crossed anyway. Let's have a look. Tick, tick, tick. Repaired. Car is incomplete. No! Right, what's in my inventory that possibly can be part of this car? Oh, wheel. Okay. Uh, no, we've got. Can I do that? Oh no, I saw it. Um, okay, I'll be back in a second when I figure out what's wrong. Okay, I have retraced all my steps and I've checked everything. I've taken all the wheels off and everything. And guess what it is? The plastic cover casing. Oh, that's so annoying. <laughs> so hopefully now we should be able to finish this uh, ah there we go so the plastic covering <laughs> oh, what a way to end the episode well thank you very much for watching my name is Stocker Gloss this is Car Mechanic Simulator and uh, in the next episode we're replacing damaged parts of the engine so it should uh, that should be fun so take care and ciao for now